Assalamualaikum. This is Imam Ibrahim Abdul Rahim, and we're continuing on with our our talk on the the Muslim call to prayer, the adhan. <coughs> so to continue on, Allah is called Al Hayyu Kayyum, Al Hayyul Kayyum, which means that Allah is living and self-subsisting. Allah is living by Allah's own self without any external aid. Allah does not derive powers from any external or foreign source. Allah maintains Allah's own existence and causes the existence of others by generating life and by maintaining life throughout that existence. Allah tells us also in the Quran, with dhikr Allahu Akbar, that the remembrance of Allah is greater, meaning that there is no greater thoughts operating for us than remembering Allah. Alhamdulillahi Rabbi Alameen. Prophet Muhammad is also reported to have said, he who remembers his Lord and he who does not are like the living and the dead. Finally, Allah revealed, then remember me, I will remember you. So by this, we can see the importance of dhikr or constantly remembering Allah and that it cannot be emphasized enough if we de desire to be on the receiving end of Allah's mercy and blessings. Prayer is also like dhikr in that it is also remembering Allah in the most powerfully physical expressive posture. Not only are we remembering Allah in our niyyah, in our intentions, speech, and thoughts, but we are also submitting the physical body we are custodians of. The adhan with, with an economy of words, it details to everyone, even those with limited academic abilities, essentials that enable one to grasp a basic understanding of what the overall intent of prayer is. First, to establish that Allah is bigger, greater, and more important than anything. Then that the messenger has a message, and that message is also the message that he himself embodies. Come alive to prayer and become alive in the pursuit of success. The then fulfills its purpose by giving us all a short and detailed description of the basic elements of our way of life five times every day. The then calls us to live life in its fullest expression by acknowledging Allah is greater and to come alive to that greatness which will in turn lift us up to the greatest expression of human existence in our individual lives. In demonstrating that life as taught to us by Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we come into a life of success as individuals. Then we are called to assemble. In fact, the only way we can truly assemble, it is that way. Our assembly is the prerequisite for success as a community, as the Ummatul Islamiyah, the community of Al-Islam. The Adhan is not calling just me as an individual, but all of us every day, and in particular on Friday, the Jumu'ah, Congregational Prayer, pointing to not only an individual success, but also collective or community success. Individual success leads to community success as we become more refined and educated, or shall I say cultivated, then we are better assured a life in this reality that resembles the life in the life after this life. We are to endeavor to maximize the benefits of living this life to be rewarded with the Jannah or the garden paradise. We're commanded to leave off business and traffic of our worldly pursuits so that we don't implode but afterwards seek Allah's bounty. Yes, after we remember Allah, we're entitled to the bounty. Allah revealed and seek by the means of what Allah has given you the future abode and do not neglect your portion of this world and do good to others as Allah has done good to you and do not seek to make mischief in the land. Surely Allah does not love the mischief makers. There is indeed a message to us in the Adhan to us and all the worlds. There then, again, it calls us to come to alive to prayer. And if we come alive to prayer, 
then that is what will open the door to success in our lives. So the Muslim call to prayer, you know, it's not, it's not the ringing of bells or the clapping of hands or the blowing of, of bugles or the beating of drums. It is, the, it is the, the voice of a human being, a human being uh, striving to, intent on living the life that Allah created him to live for. So Allah tells us in the, in the, in the, in the, in the spirit of the, of the adhan that we hear every day, five times a day, to come alive, to be alive, and to live in the spirit of what life is calling us to. And if we, live, if we live in that spirit, if we come alive to that spirit, there is no way that we can have anything other than success in our lives. No matter where we are on this globe, no matter where we are, no matter what situation we're in, if we remember Allah, if we remember Allah, and that we acknowledge that Allah is greater, that God is bigger, more important than anything, that we leave off what we're doing when it comes time to offer our prayers. It's not that God needs our prayers. If Allah needed our prayers, then there would be no Allah because most of us don't pray in the spirit or most of us don't pray in the way that we're supposed to pray. So if, 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 an, if a deity depended upon those prayers, uh, that deity would be lost. Allah doesn't need us to pray. We need, we need to discipline ourselves and come alive because the Muslim life is really a life of prayer. Our life, everything that we do in our lives that Allah approves of, we call that ibadah. Our life is a life of worship, no matter what we do. So really, in essence, we live a life of prayer. And so Allah says, come alive to the life that you should live as a Muslim. Come alive to that life, and if you come alive to that life, you will succeed in that life. And all of us, as we mentioned before, want to succeed. We want to be successful in, in the things that we do. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that a Muslim is one that when he involves himself in a thing, he seeks to perfect it. So everyone wants to reach the level of success, the level of perfection that we uh, hope to see or hope to accomplish when we involve ourselves in a thing. The one thing that we all want to do, and that is succeed. Alhamdulillah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim.